Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for September 2021 for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and for Cross Watchers. All right, so starting off with three cards, what is the guiding energy, please, for Libra? What is going on for Libra in September? Interesting, so we have Mystic. I'm gonna pull two more. All right, Libra, Aries, and we have Saboteur. So, all right, um, before I get into these cards, we've got a couple signs here. So for some of you, maybe dealing with an Aries individual or someone who embodies that energy, Mystic is asking you to pay attention to maybe even what's not being said or what lies beneath getting to the truth of the matter. So definitely intuition. We have saboteur, which is like a sabotager. All right, so we'll find out more in depth. I'm gonna pull one for the situation and then three for what is going on with that. So guiding energy for Libra. Just the guiding energy. Yeah, queen of cups, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the energy that is lying beneath the surface. So Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pay attention to your gut and what you feel. About maybe what's hidden. What's not being said. Three for the situation, please. Four of skulls, so yeah, this can be hanging on to things, keeping secrets or keeping information hidden. Two more for Libra. Okay, we have the star, which is about needing to stay hopeful, needing to remain positive. And then we have the devil. Yeah, so underneath the seven of swords, absolutely what is hidden, what's not being said. Somebody could be avoiding a conversation or just avoiding a problem, kind of like in escapism mode, and this can be that devil energy. So absolutely, Libra, if this resonates with you, let me know. Drop a heart or a comment. I want to see who this resonates with. But the devil energy is definitely... Um, focused on the shadowy aspects of ourselves and things that hold us back. So the fear. Um, all right, I am going to clarify this devil energy and see what is going on with this. So devil, that's a sign of Capricorn. Let's clarify the devil energy. All right, so Page of Cups, Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles. So yeah, Page of Cups, Knight of Swords. Now the page can be like more emotionally immature or childlike. Knight of Swords, maybe this person is like dealing with some anger right now or dealing with some things that um, they're angry about or there's conflicts here with the Knight of Swords. But I do feel like it's getting to the point of like cutting through that. Cutting through the BS and getting to the truth of the matter. Six of Pentacles. Maybe this person is highly focused on money. All right. Um, I'm going to clarify this four of pentacles as well. Yeah. Very stuck on a certain way of being and living with the Hierophant. I believe another flipped over here, the three of wands. Um, the eight of swords, somebody is not seeing the truth of the matter, blindfolded, feeling like they can't escape. And the Hierophant is like a set of standards that we follow or a way of being. Can represent institutions and work. But also I, I really feel like 
there's someone here that's going through like an awakening a spiritual awakening of some sort and look what's at the bottom the hermit yeah so someone you know maybe searching for the truth of the matter spiritual truths going through just a deep deep personal transformation so pay attention to what you're feeling what your guides are telling you if this situation resonates with you or if this is you but i am seeing another energy here so i'm going to pull one from the halloween deck what is the guidance please see this blindfolded so the veil so there could be some blind spots the veil energy i mean this is just coming up really strongly so we have the veil but we also have skull of stars infinite possibilities and i feel like maybe this is what somebody isn't seeing here because they're wearing a blindfold they're blinded to the infinite possibilities that are open to them but you know also this is about the veil lifting and this is about um our ancestors and guides being close to us because it's about telling the future right in a sense but more or less the actions we can take to change our future and to shape it the way that we want it so planning setting intentions thinking big i just feel like someone here is really blocked they could be blocked by 3d matters you know money and possessions for example but there's infinite possibilities here with the skull of stars and infinite possibilities, it's like kind of creating from the ashes. But what I feel like is don't think so small. Like someone here needs to open themselves up to the possibilities that the universe has to offer rather than just thinking so small or fearing those things like the devil energy that tend to hold us back. Fear, possessions, money, the what ifs. Yeah, awareness and passion. So someone here needs to follow their passions. Let passions guide them, follow their heart, open themselves up to something greater. And we have awareness here. So this is being aware or becoming more aware, going through that awakening, which, which I mentioned before. All right, I'm gonna close this reading up with three love cards since this is general. But I do feel like, okay, healing heart. So that is going to be part of the healing process. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. That's the devil energy. It's right there. Freedom from the chains that bind us and hold us back. Keys on a ring. So many options or decisions. String alongs, one night stand. Take the keywords that resonate with you. Maybe somebody has multiple options. Which way do I go? And that's, you know, what is trying to be figured out here. So we have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, the other woman. So that is a possibility. Um, but we have heartbroken at the bottom. So deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So that can be part of this. So again pay attention to the mystic within if this resonates with you let me know i hope you guys have an awesome month ahead and if you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on facebook or instagram that information is all posted in the description box below take care